I think that w one of the, the great strengths of, of drama is that uh, a, a dramatist has much, uh, a much weaker control over the audience's uh, response than a novelist, say. Uh, an, a novelist can um, manipulate the reader in all sorts of ways that are not available to a dramatist. That for a start, so that you know every performance of a play, let alone every production, is always subtly different. Actors and audiences interact in ways that can subtly or sometimes not so subtly modify the meaning of a particular scene. Uh, and you know clearly the the way in which a given actor handles a given part. Uh, significantly changes its meaning. Um, but this also means, uh, and I think it, uh, you know, one, of the, one of the reasons for, for the, um, you know, the remarkable flexibility of Shakespeare's plays, for their, for their appropriability that we talked about, has to do with his own experience as an actor. Because what he does with almost every part he writes is, uh, you know, a, allow the actor to find that character's particular voice. Um, so that however you finally interpret a play like The Tempest, for example, it, it, however much you, you may decide, you know, that it is a play that, that celebrates Prospero's acquisition of wisdom and patience and so forth, there is no way to suppress the voice of Caliban. And, uh, and of course, in many modern productions of the play, from a post-colonial perspective, I think Jonathan Miller was the first person really to allow Caliban full voice. But in many modern productions, uh, Caliban can, can uh, threaten to take over the play from, uh, from Prospero, um, as indeed he does in Aimé Césaire's version of Shakespeare, Une Tempête, a, a Tempest. Um, which uh, you know decisively rewrites Shakespeare's play um, is engaged in, a, in you know in a constant uh, debate with it uh, from from the point of view of um, uh, uh, an Afro-Caribbean francophone um, who you know uses Shakespeare's play as a kind of platform from which to talk about the experience of the colonized. 